This is Jacob from RoboFlow, machine learning engineer, here today with Brad, CTO of RoboFlow, for ML in a Minute. And today's ML in a Minute is what is QDNN? So QDNN is NVIDIA's framework for deep learning primitives. It stands for CUDA Deep Neural Network, and it's built on top of their CUDA framework, which is how you use NVIDIA GPUs for general purpose computing tasks. Uh, we have a whole other video about that uh, in our ML in a Minute series. Uh, we'll link down below. Um, so essentially, uh, QDNN is the primitives, the Lego building blocks that you would need to build a machine learning framework. So it has things like um, pooling and convolution uh, and all the basics that you need to be really, really, really fast. Um, so PyTorch and TensorFlow don't have to implement those on their own for NVIDIA GPUs. They just call out to these primitives and they build the abstraction layers on top of it. Okay, okay, that makes sense. And um, are there any pitfalls or any you know struggles that you've run into using QDNN or that you're aware of? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is that the version numbers and uh, different versions are really finicky and don't necessarily play nicely together. Um, so if you have a machine learning model, it'll oftentimes tell you the exact version of CUDA, QDNN, and potentially some other libraries or like the version of Python that you need. Um, and you have to make sure to get those exactly right, otherwise oftentimes it will not work and sometimes in subtle ways. That makes sense, that makes sense. And are there any ways that you're aware of to uh, kind of, you know, um, go through this process faster or avoid some of these pitfalls? Yeah, uh, at RoboFlow actually, um, we've helped make this process simpler for software engineers who might not be as versed in all of the intricacies of the different versions of these things. Uh, and one of the ways that we've done that is to um, encapsulate all of this inside of something like a Docker container that has already got everything compiled and optimized and working together with a given machine learning model. Um, so we handle computer vision stuff. So if you need an object detection model, for example, you can train that in RoboFlow and run it on device on a uh, Docker GPU that, that touches the NVIDIA runtime and handles all the complexities of this. Oh, really cool, really cool. Well. Everyone, thanks so much for joining us for QDNN, and if you want to see other videos like this, like and subscribe below, and we'll, we'll see you in the next video.